Hello, hello everyone, welcome to Q Design. I'm Janine and in this tutorial you learn how to create this resizable pattern working with uh, this camera texture, add a new overlay to it and create these lines with the SDF rectangle and you learn also how to create this patch asset so you have your patch editor more organized and uh, better control over the settings let's start with this tutorial okay let's start and we start by adding the scene and for this we need nine rectangles for the screen nine rectangles for the overlay and four line as layer and just simply go to rectangle Make sure that the first one is full width and height because we want to copy this. Start with the screen, screen zero, and simply go to command C and command D and duplicate this one eight times. So we have nine different rectangles. Command D, the same with the overlay, overlay overlay put this one down below make sure the first one is with the number zero and also copy and duplicate and the same just the knife is our line zero four times again command D Make sure it's down below this one uh, for the line we only need one texture so go to material this material make sure uh, call this one line and make sure it's flat and the color is black and make sure every line has the same material so the screen is the whole screen is black set the visibility up and when the next step is our overlay simply select them all go to material create a new material make sure it's flat for this one overlay and go to your texture new texture and this is just a rectangle with this size right here and simply with a heart shape down below it the last step is our screen. On our screen, we make sure that we add nine different materials for it. Go to create new material, call this one screen zero. And this screen, make sure it's flat. And uh, for the texture, we need the camera texture. So go, go to camera, go to texture extraction, make sure you see uh, there are texture, camera texture, down below under your assets and go back to the screen and make sure that this texture camera texture is included so we see our face so we have more control over the next steps when we make the whole pattern responsive so command d again nine times and this is a little bit confusing but we will set these different materials to our screen so one perfect so every single screen should be have the right number the right material the next step is to create the responsive scale settings for this you need absolutely make sure that you see the patch editor so at the patch editor and we start with the scale of our screen we adjust the scale of our screen and our overlay but I want to start with the screen first and set the overlay later so make sure again that the height and width is relative and by 100% go to your properties and go to the scale input and then a the first step I will make sure that you see all inputs. And now we need a divide. 
and also a pack. Oh, well, let's try it without a pack, just uh, add a divide and go to three and nine and let's look what happens. Okay, it doesn't work. So you make sure you need a pack and make sure it's two vectors because it's a 2D layer and make sure that you put this information right here in both inputs and connect it to all layers. Make sure everything uh, is linked to each other and the same also for the overlay but I will skip that and just uh, show you the result. Now you see the heart shape right here and not down here because uh, every single layer is uh, on this size right now. And when you go to a resizable window, you'll see that this shape is resizable. The next step is to make sure that also the pattern is resizable. Go to your device, hold it and drag it into your patch editor. And we need our screen size and scale. Go to divide and link this. Perfect. And now we need a multiply and we need nine multiplies because we have nine screens and nine overlays but I just make sure that there's two vectors for some of them we just need uh, one vector but just in case okay select all screens, go to position and now we add our divide at the first position connected to our first screen. Yep, you see the first screen and I click on it down here and now the settings we just need for the first one just only the number because um, x and y will be the, the same number Go to minus 0 0.33 to make sure it's right here. Now we connect all multiplies with the divide. And for the next three, we make sure that our y is this number right here. And for the middle one, zero. And for the first one, zero point through the three. So we have this row right here. And for this one, now we are in the middle. The second one, we only need one number, zero, zero. First one is minus zero point through the three zero uh, and zero point through the three. Hope I'm right. Yep, looks fine. And for this one, zero point three. And the first one minus one and again perfect. And now when I resize the screen, it really fits perfectly. And again, the same for our overlay. Go to position, make sure you have this layer right here. OK, 
Okay, the scan setting is perfect so far. And now we want to make sure that every single screen is different. And for this, we design a camera texture control patch. We go to our camera texture, make sure that you drag and drop it into your patch editor. And we start by mm, putting in all screen input textures. So the patch for the texture, it's a bit messy. Okay, let's start with the first screen. Go to add a texture transformation and also a 2D transformation pack and link this one oops, to the texture transformation and to the screen zero. And now when you add, for example, scale two, just or the scale minus two and the uh, pivot, for example. So it's a little bit, you have more control over the setting. So add this one into a group, call this one camera texture control, camera texture control. Go to the group properties. These are our input and output. This one is our for our camera texture. Now we see it right here. This is our texture material. You see it right here. And I add two new inputs. Make sure these two are vectors, two vectors. This one is our scale. Add the number by default zero. So you see something on the screen. And this one is our pivot, pivot, also a vector. And also the default settings, uh, 0 0.5, perfect. Link this one again to our screen. This is linked, double click in it. So you are in the camera texture to control patch in the group. And at the scale and pivot, uh, it's not no not a problem for us. And if you want to make sure that you can use this one from your assets right here, go to convert to patch assets. And now you see this camera texture right here. So when I put this one right also right here in our patch editor, I want to add a new adjustment to my properties. For example, I want to make sure that the scale by default is two. So I see a difference. It also is manipulate all patches you add to your scene. Again, link these to your screen. Perfect. I link the, these screens to these camera texture control. Now you can work with them by manipulating the scale, for example, 0.5. I would adjust it a little bit more, but I think uh, you get the whole idea and of course now the last step is to make sure that the we see a, this sweet little line between these screens. Now for this, we make sure that we put the visibility, visibility, uh, visibility on of these lines. So boop, you see a black screen, maybe just the first one. Boop, I made a mistake. We also need for our line for a texture. Sorry for that. So line one, 
and one so every single line has also a single uh, different texture and make sure that you set the texture in to your editor and go to SDF rectangle step and this is our first setting add this edge output to the input of um, edge down below this one right here and connect it to the line make sure that the center and half size is uh, 0 0.5 this is absolutely fine and for this one well, this is our position of our line and make sure it's 0 0.5 0 0.01 and now you see the line right here it just adjusts the color so you can see the line right here and we set these the second one just copy this one link it oh sorry this one right here and the adjustment is 6 to the 6 and you see this right here the second again make a copy now the center is 2.5, 0 0.5 in the Y and we manipulate the X and for this one also 2, 3 and 0, 0 0.01 now you see the line right here and the last one copy the six and now it's done again thank you very much for watching i really appreciate it and of course if you like this tutorial please leave a like and if you have any questions or new tutorials ideas, please let me know in the comment section down below and of course share this tutorial with everyone who wants to know this enjoy the process bye bye